What neuroscientists really think about Elon Musk's Neuralink? Elon Musk's Neuralink is bad sci-fi, or is a brain science pioneer? Researchers provided mixed reviews of Elon Musk's colorful demonstration of Neuralink, his sci-fi startup developing brain implants. The company's technology, Musk hopes, will someday help paralyzed people walk and even preserve memories so people can browse through them like flipping through a photo album. Some researchers laud Neuralink's work as a significant improvement on existing technology. However, others say that the company doesn't offer much new innovation and its biggest speculative claims are not based on the current state of the science. Today we are going to dive deep into it and see what neuroscientists really think about Elon Musk's Neuralink. But before we move forward in the video, make sure to subscribe for more content and like this video to receive similar suggestions from YouTube. Also, we highly appreciate your comments. Now let's get straight into the video. What is Neuralink? How does the technology work and what can you do with it? Neuralink is the future of technology because it allows humans to control machines with their brains. On April 9th, Elon Musk's company Neuralink shared a video of a monkey playing table ping pong with his mind. According to a response in a tweet from Elon Musk, this future technology could be tested on humans by the end of the year. When a Twitter user wrote in February that he was always available for clinical trials with Neuralink, Elon Musk said the company is working to ensure that Neuralink can be safely tested in humans by the end of 2021. If it works, it can be used to treat brain diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. What is Neuralink, the neurological technology that people are talking about? Neuralink is a device that is surgically inserted into the brain by a neurosurgeon using robotics. In this procedure, a chipset called a link is implanted in the skull. It has a series of insulated wires connected by electrodes used in the process. These devices can then be used to work with smartphones and computers without having to touch them. How does this innovation that pushes the boundaries of neurotechnology work? Before knowing how Neuralink works, it's a good idea to understand the science behind the human brain. The brain is made up of neurons that carry signals to cells in the body, including muscles, nerves, glands, and other nerve cells. Each neuron consists of three parts called dendrites, soma, and axon. Each of these parts has its own function. Dendrites receive the signal. Soma processes these signals. The axon then sends signals to other cells. Neurons are connected to each other by synapses, which release neurotransmitters. These chemicals are then sent to the dendrites of other nerve cells, causing a current to flow through the neuron. The electrodes that are part of the Neuralink read the electric signals generated by several neurons in the brain. These signals are then issued in the form of an action or movement. According to the company's website, the device will be implanted directly into the brain because placing it outside of the head will not accurately recognize the signals generated by the brain. Now that you know what Neuralink is and how it works, find out what Neuralink does. Neuralink can be used to operate on encephalopathy. It can also be used as a link between the human brain and technology. This means people with paralysis can easily control their phones and computers directly with their brains. Its main purpose is to help people communicate via text or voice messages. Of course, Neuralink is not limited to that. It can also be used for painting, photography, and other activities. Now let's have a look at neuroscientists' thoughts on Neuralink. Mr. Musk doesn't know much about neuroscience and what the brain is, Miguel Nicolelis told Inverse, adding that he barely knows where the brain is located. Nicolelis heads the Nicolelis Library at Drake University. He was a pioneer in neuroscience, particularly in the area of brain computer interface, BCI, which essentially connects the brain to machines via devices such as brain implants. He had a few rants about Elon Musk and his young brain technology company Neuralink. Perhaps the most well-known player in the BCI space right now is Neuralink, a neurotechnology company founded by Musk and others. Neuralink recently released a video of a monkey implanted with Neuralink, BCI, playing an illegal version of Pong with his mind. This has taken the internet by storm. In a recent interview with Inverse, Nicolelis made two main criticisms of Neuralink lack of innovation and imitation of the work of other researchers, and making promises you can't keep. For example, Nicolella says Neuralink monkeys playing video games are not innovative. We've had wireless implants in monkeys since 2014, he said, citing a 2014 article published in Nature Methods. Nicolellis also said Neuralink is credited with work he and other BCI researchers have been doing for decades. Musk is selling previously found stuff and he's trying to say he's doing something extraordinary. Neuralink co-founder Mark Hodak, who recently left the company, is a former student at Nicolella's lab along with two unnamed Neuralink employees, he said. 
Neuralink hasn't done anything that I think is innovative, Nicolella said. I just feel a little insulted that this god acting technician came out and said, oh, we're going to do a lot better. A source with direct knowledge of the situation who wishes to remain anonymous confirmed to Inverse that Hodak was a researcher in Nicolella's lab between 2008 and 2012. The source adds that while Neuralink is not creating new neuroscience, it is indeed an innovation in terms of better engineering and direct transfer of your technology to patients. But Nicolellis rejected some of the company's highest inventions, such as robots that could implant electrodes, such as Beautiful Gizmo or Just the Machine. He doesn't believe there is a market for Neuralink's products and calls it a boutique market that doesn't justify business with Neuralink's significant investment. Perhaps worse, Neuralink makes promises to consumers that it cannot deliver based on currently available technologies. While Neuralink aims to use its BCI to improve conditions for people with paralysis, previous inverse reports have shown that the company has a higher goal of enabling people to rewind memories or turn them into robots. It's not entirely clear whether the Neuralink program actually benefits people with disabilities or whether there's a hidden reason to study transhumanism, the merging of robots with humans. Nicolellis compared the company's business model to bad science fiction that even Arthur Clarke couldn't write. For your information, let us inform you that Clarke was a popular 20th century science fiction writer. This guy is a master at selling things that may never work, says Nicolellis. They will never make people withdraw their emotions or their deep cognitive functions, and they will never make people learn French by uploading French grammar to a brain-machine interface. He adds that many aspects of what we call humans, such as language semantics, cannot be reproduced by computer algorithms. You will never reproduce it, Nicola says, adding for a science fiction movie that's fine, but for Elon Musk to come out and say exactly the same thing is bogus, totally bogus. He further added, what I see is most of these guys, these techie guys, going there and talking about technology like there is no human being behind what is going to be done. After all, the biggest offense Nicolella's committed at must feet, ignoring the human consequences of his decision and concentrating primarily on technology. Nicolella's believes that it will be useful for people with experience in the medical field to develop human-centered neurotechnology. Medical experience will help neuroscience leaders consider ethical questions, such as whether the use of potentially dangerous and highly invasive brain implants, which destroy the membranes of the human brain and leave scars, is necessary or whether non-invasive implants may be sufficient for a new BCI approach. As a physician, I think about my patients and needs and the safety of my patient first, before I think about the beauty or the stiffness of a piece of technology, Nicolella says, with a not so subtle nod to the air of to a technology that dominates the world BCI title. After all, Neuralink may sell a number of false promises that it cannot keep. What they do is just marketing, just theater. Musk is an expert at this, Nicolella said. According to Musk, the Neuralink brain chip will allow people to use technology to control computers with their brains. Apparently, this is an attempt to outsmart artificial intelligence that will allow them to overtake humans, something better known as a technological singularity that could lead humanity to extinction. In addition, the billionaire has repeatedly said that this technology is designed more for people with disabilities to help them perform daily tasks more easily than before but also claims to allow people to expand their skills on the official site. However, experts are not completely convinced and say that we should not force our brains. What are your thoughts on it? Do let us know in the comment section and do give this video a big thumbs up. See you in the next video.